So I got my side control. I dive underneath. I start going for my choke here. All right. Might even crush his face if I have to. That's okay. Okay. I got him up on his side. No, I'm not able to finish it. Whatever reason, maybe my hip's up too high. Maybe he's rolling away. Maybe he's gripping onto my wrist with his other hand, trying to pull that, keep that space. That's fine. I'm gonna windshield wiper my feet. I'm gonna slide that foot over. I'm gonna tuck his arm behind my armpit to finish it up. All right. Again, same as same as my other versions. I'm keeping his thumb up in my armpit, pinching down on. It. Okay. My knees come together. Okay. And then I guillotine his arm. My chest gets big as my shoulder comes down. Okay. I don't want to just lay back. That arm's gonna pop out, which is okay. Then I can finish here. <laughs> right. But I want to keep as tight to that arm as I can. I want that elbow as high as I can. I want his shoulder as high as I can as I pinch everything. If his thumb starts to turn, I might have to use my other hand to grip onto that elbow and start digging that thumb out. And then switch over to my normal arm bar. And everything's squeezing, right? Shouldn't need more than two fingers to finish that arm bar. If I do, I screwed up. I'm too slow, or I'm, I'm too loose. Squeezing everything together, two fingers. Cool? And I never had to step over his body one time. Can you do the transition into the arm bar just one more time? Sure. Sorry, Colin. I really, I really do like you. Uh, 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 yeah. Here we go. Sure, you need to see it. <laughs> He's been here long enough. He knows the drill. <laughs> so I dive underneath. And I can pick up his head here, too, if I need to. Right? If I'm having a hard time getting to that gi, wrap over the shoulder, and I can start putting pressure on the back of his head to get my grip. I can also go thumb inside here, right? So I'm putting pressure on his neck. He doesn't like it. I open the window, and as his head pops out, I cut the elbow down. Right? Just like a rear naked choke. Now, he doesn't like that. He's going to start keeping the pressure off. I roll him up away from me, and I windshield wipe from my feet. My head's not going forward where I can get rolled over. My head is still above my hips as I switch him. All right, and since I'm old and inflexible, I can't do it in one step, so I gotta step over, I pull back, and I'm pulling him with me. All right, I'm not, still not worried about that arm. I've got control of him, right? I can, I'll worry about that arm once I get to the position where I wanna try to finish it, okay? I can even switch here, drop down to that thumb, make sure it's in my armpit, finish. If I don't have it or his thumb is still turned and I can't get to it, I pop out. Find that thumb, opposite way of his elbow, squeezing everything together. My back still hasn't touched the ground. If my back touches the ground, I screwed up. Something is wrong. But I'll still try to finish, right? That's okay. Doesn't mean all is lost, it just means we weren't quite tight enough. Cool? Good? All right, if all of that was Greek, all right, don't worry about it. Just worry about what we've been doing, okay? <laughs> if that arm bar is a little too far, that's fine. Okay, I don't, want, I, don't, I don't want to put too much on you on the first time. There's a lot of moves in one, you know, in one day. So, but most of these side control attacks, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing here with this hand. It just kind of goes on its own. But most of these we've done, a, you know, half dozen times before. So if you're not familiar, if this is the first time you're seeing it, don't worry about it. Just go as far as you're comfortable with because I don't want to accidentally hurt anything. One, two, three.